Yeah, what the CFO is talking about is there's going to be a moderated CapEx in the future. They've been growing CapEx 30 percent, much faster than revenue in the past. And what that means is sets the table for kind of earnings leverage in 2019. So that's part of the reason why the stock's inching up. I think part of the other reason is every minute that passes and there's not a bomb that goes off, given what happened last night, I think investors are breathing a sigh of relief. But I want to emphasize, I'm surprised at the stock reaction here in after hours. And given the revenue miss, and obviously earnings is what people are focused on, but this is still a growth story, and they guided revenue 4 percent below the street. I would have expected the stock to be down 3 percent in the after hours based on this. So I love the story longer term, but really surprised at the stock action. You were also pretty happy about advertising as a percent of Amazon's business. Yep, that's right. So the advertising, it's a small piece. It's 4 percent. But that's a segment that we had looked to provide some upside on the, the earnings. And uh, in fact, that did happen is that they talked on the call that 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 segment is more much more profitable. They didn't break out the exact profit margin on it. But I think that is uh, even though it's only 4 percent, this just gives you a sense about how uh, laser tight these margins are. A 4 percent business can actually move the margins higher. So that was uh, a bright spot. In terms of the blue sky for advertising, Gene, I mean, does that for you, is it advertising on the devices like Alexa? Yeah, this would be it's more about just when you are searching for products on Amazon, on your phone or on a, on a computer and, mm-hmm. and you see these sponsored ads at the top. It's more about that versus Alexa. OK, I guess that's the future. huh? Um, in terms of the grade for the quarter, Gene, where do you come down on this? I'm going to say a B minus. And the simple reason is the stock's up 24 percent. There is a lot of expectations. I know investors are seeing this much different. I think it's a great story. But uh, I think that this revenue miss, the unit growth below 20 percent for the first time in a long time, uh, really should be weighed in a combination with that earnings upside.